Alice. Today, we're going to talk about how you can protect your files from people who want to see them. From the government, from evil TLAs, from the CIA, the FBI, MI6, and your mother. Because you really don't want her looking through your files, do you? The software we're going to be using is called Tomb. It's very simple, very easy, and very, very secure. Now, it only works on Linux, so you have to be a Linux chad to use it. So, this is the website here. Look at that. Fancy logo, pretty scary, pretty cool, a little bit edgy. But we're just going to go straight to the installation. So you've got to download this tar here. And then let's look at the installation instructions, which are on GitHub. These are the requirements here. Nothing too special. And to install it, you just have to, first of all, you download the release here, the tar ball. So I copy clean link like this. And then I'm going to go to where I want to install it and wget it, wget paste in the file. There we are. It'll download and save like that. Now we copy the tar thing here. Uh, make sure that's correct. Change the example to the one we've got. So we've got 2.9. There we are. That extracts it. Okay. Now we CD into that directory that's been created. And we just run sudo make install like that. Then once you've done that, it will do that. I've already done that. And then you can just type tomb dash dash help to verify. There you go. And it's installed. Very nice and easy. Now you don't need these lying around. So I'm actually going to uh, remove those files. There we go. Okay. How do we use this? Very easy. So there are a few things. So first of all, you've got to create a tomb and you specify the size in megabytes. So let's make a tomb of size 10 meg. Tomb dig. Very cool. Dash S for size 10. So that's going to make a tomb dig a tomb of 10 meg. And then we can fill that in. That didn't work because you've got to put in the name. I'm going to call it secrets. So we're going to dig a tomb. Dig -a -dig -a tomb of that big. There we go. It is done digging. There we are. But it's not yet ready because we need to make a key to lock our tomb. Okay? So we've got to tomb forge dash key. Okay. Uh, Secrets.tomb.key. You can call it anything. Uh, active swap partition is detected. So this is because this could potentially be a security risk. It's not really. So I'm just going to use the dash F flag for this to disable checking if I've got swap on. I don't care too much about that. Now we've got to choose the password for our key. So that worked there and you see it's prompted me here to put the password in. So I'm going to put the password in. So now we've got our lock our tomb. So we're going to use tomb lock to lock it up. Okay. Tomb lock the tomb and then the key we're going to use to lock it. There we are. Put the password in which I just set to the letter A which is not secure. Um, so now it's locking it. You see it's doing some formatting with uh, Luke's there, Lux. Uh, now it's ready. There we go. So now our tomb is ready to be opened, filled, and then locked. So how do we do that? Good question. We open it. So tomb open like that. The key that we're going to use to open it is that. The tomb is this. And the file. So by default, when you open a tomb, it will mount it in like slash media or whatever. But I don't want that. I just want it on a file on my file system. Okay. So I'm going to give it some arguments to do that. Uh, and these are this. So we open our tomb with the key. That's the tomb. Force it open. Swap argument. And then I'm going to call it uh, vault like this. Put the password in. So now we have this file called vault here. So if we go into vault, you see it's ext4. So it is formatted. It's mounted here. So it actually mounts it, which is very cool. And now I'm in the tomb. Okay, now I'm going to put secret secure documents in my tomb. Secret info dot text. This file contains information that would lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. Right, that sentence alone is enough to get you killed in some countries, okay? Fill it with some rubbish. There we are. It's got some rubbish in there now. Right, that will lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. Okay, now we also want to make the, um, make directories inside of it. I'm going to call this emails. Emails from private server. CD there. And now it's make or 100 emails. Touch. Email one to a hundred dot I'm using some fancy shell expansion boys. Email. Right, we now have a hundred emails. Uh, yeah, we have a hundred and one emails. Look at that. 
Why do I have 101 emails? Okay, we do have 100. I was showing hidden files. My bad. Right. Um, so we have 100 emails. There we go. Cool. Okay. Now let's lock this tomb, shall we? So to do that, you do tomb close. Ah, why is that not working? Because we are in the directory, okay? So we've got to get out of our tomb because you don't want to close it with your explorer trapped in there. You don't want to lock old, uh, what was his name, Howard in there. Yeah, so I was right, Howard Carter. You do not want to lock him in there. We go out of there, tomb, close. There we go. My bones will rest in peace. So now it's closed, okay? If we go into vault, permission denied, but there's nothing in there. Even if I go as root, I'm root now, nothing there, look. Nothing in there. It's empty because it's all stored in secrets.tomb. This is my tomb here. I don't know why I'm... So vault is now empty. Which I'm still in it. So vault is now empty. Zero. And the tomb of 10 meg is open, is closed. But if we look in here, this is not a directory. Type secrets.tomb. Eh. What? No, it's, oh, it's file. Sorry. Lux encrypted file, right? So if I open it, it's just gobbledygook. No, no, no mention of Hillary in there. So the CAA won't know, right? But the CAA do know because they've got access to our key right here. Bad. Even though our key is password protected, it's stored with our tomb. This is really, really bad, right? Because there's no protection against brute forcing. So if the FBI or CIA captured me, they could either hit me with a crowbar uh, to force me to hand over the password to the tomb, or they could just brute force it, because there's no brute force protection on this. Uh, the real protection is, is separating your keys and your tomb. So put your key on a USB stick and your tomb on your hard drive, or you can even do things like have your key on a remote server and then um, only pull it down when you need to. Or you can store your tomb on, say, cloud storage like Dropbox or Nextcloud if you're being open source and then have your key locally. That way your cloud provider doesn't have it, doesn't even know what you're storing with them. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, but yeah, separation of your keys and your tomb is paramount to security. Uh, how I do it with my personal stuff, I just have it on a USB panel, right? Let me show you something else that's cool. So I'm going to open that tomb again, put the password in. Opening secret, so... Right, so I've got my tomb open here. I reopened this. Then I want to show you another command. It's called tomb slam, like this. So this will just slam shut any tomb that's open. Bam! So you see, even though my other terminal was open and I was in the tomb, it had to close that to kick my session out. Uh, but it did close it. So that globally closes all your tombs. And that is important because, so you kind of want it to, uh, crashing the terminal is, is what it had to do to kick me out, okay? It had to blast me out. but. Um, because I was in the tomb, right? But it did close it, which is important because if you're like, I don't know, the Silk Road guy who, let's say he's using tomb, when the FBI came and arrested him, they he was in a, he was in the public library on his laptop with a key plugged into his laptop. Um, and then they quickly snatched the laptop from him and plugged another USB in so they could read all the data whilst his key was there. But imagine if he had a script that listened for any device that plugged into his laptop and then as soon as a device that was unrecognized got plugged into this laptop like the FBI um, USB it ran tomb slam bam boom close you know slam shut everything FBI know nothing plausible deniability boom it's important but don't do drugs now for something incredibly cool and incredibly different steganography gentlemen the first QR code so if you want to be super secure, you can store your key on paper. You can use tomb engrave dash key secrets.tomb.p. Now we have this here. That is a QR code of our key. So you print that out, put it in a book, done. Now you can keep your key completely offline. Hide it somewhere. Hide it. They won't be able to find it. They'll just see a QR code. They. You know who they are, don't you? Big evil TLAs. So hide a QR code. They won't find it. Or you could be super sneaky and do something like this, okay? You can use steganography to engrave your key into an image, into a meme. 
Let's download a meme. So I've got, I'm gonna get a picture of Agent Smith. Agent Smith, one of the people who works for Evil TLAs who will come hunting after you. Mr. Anderson. Let's get, look, the Matrix will attack you. So I'm gonna download it to the, my directory. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in the same directory as your, as your tomb. It could be on a separate hard drive or on the internet or whatever, but this is what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna use steganography here to hide our key in the image, right? So to do that, we're gonna use the program called Steghide here. So you have to install Steghide. It's in your repos, probably, it's quite common. Has to be a JPEG, by the way. So if it's a PNG, you do convert, uh, you know, smith.png, smith.jpg, and that'll change it into a JPEG for you. So now I've got smith.jpg, there we are, there he is. Looking very, very evil. Looking very much like he wants to find our emails. So we're going to bury our key in an image. That's the lingro, lingo, tomb bury. Like this, operation requires a key file, key. Our key is secrets.tom.key. There we are, key is valid. Then we need to specify a JPEG, smith.jpg. Okay, put the password in. Right, there we are. So now we have smith.jpg, okay? Vim smith.jpg. It's just a file, it's still a file. It looks like an image and it smells like an image, which means it is still an image, right? It's still a meme. This is, people don't know this. And you can even, if you were testing it against every image, let me prove to you this. I'm gonna move this QR code, just an example, qr.png, uh, test.jpg, right? So this is now a JPEG file, test.jpg. It is a QR code, but whatever, ignore that. And I'm gonna show you how even Tomb doesn't know if there's a key in it unless you put the correct password in, right? So to look at the key, you do Tomb X Hume, like this, and then uh, the image, so smith.jpg. Then you put the key, put the password in, A, and it prints the, the key, right? But if you put in the wrong password, it doesn't know. Could not extract any data with that passphrase. And then if we put in test.jpg, it tries, but it doesn't actually know if there's anything buried in there, which is why Steghide is good. It's very hard to detect this, okay? So, now, let us use that in combination with our tomb. I'm actually gonna remove secrets.tomb.key. I'm gonna remove my key. I'm only gonna use Agent Smith, okay? Which is where our key is hidden. So, we're gonna use tomb, xhume, uh, test.jpg, okay? Hey, there we are. Oh dear, <laughs> smith.jpg, good, it worked. Okay, I'll be a little bit worried, I put the wrong image name. Okay, now I want to pipe that into tomb open secrets tomb. The key dash K this time is a hyphen. That means in Linux, Unix, bash, standard input. So we're taking the command, the output of tomb xhume to the input of tomb open. Uh, and then I want to force it open because swap and I want to put it in bold. There we are. A needs to do it again. A password okay. Tomb is now open. Look at that. Baba booey. Yeah, cool. Tomb close. And now it's closed. There we are. So there you go. You can now hide your tombs, your files, your everythings anywhere. No one will know because you can hide them in an image that only you know. Just don't delete the image. But yeah, mainly store them away from you. And always remember, if you're about to log out and you've got tomb opens, just, just globally tomb slam. Bam. <laughs> slam them all shut. Trap all your explorers in there. Just just do it, okay? You should do that on log out anyway. Just tomb slam. Get a script to detect when anything is anything erroneous is plugged into your PC to tomb slam. Everyone should everyone should be using this even if you've got nothing to hide, right? Because that argument is stupid because it's like saying, I don't believe in free, free speech because I've got nothing to say, okay? Yes, most people don't have nothing to say. Most people don't have nothing to hide, but it's the principle that matters, all right? Goodbye.